morning guys so today we are working in a garden we've got an old garage building um, that is completely had it to be honest um, and he wants to put some new electrics in it so we're going to be running a new cable from the consumer unit inside <clears throat> along the wall outside and then into the out building we're going to put a small garage unit in there with four ways in it one for lights one for sockets and then give him an option for anything else he wants in the future um, we're going to be putting an RCBO inside in the consumer unit and we're just going to be using MCBs in the garage. So I'm just going to get some tools out of the van and then we can go around there and have a look. Right, so as you can see, this board is absolutely ancient. Now, luckily, there was uh, no power to it. Found the other end of this SWA cable, which is a four core. Uh, that's a 2.5. Um, that was just disconnected in the house. So I've cut that out. It was coming down the wall here, um, coming out here somewhere, and then it was just across the floor, and you can just see it sticking out the ground there. It is disconnected either end, um, but I am gonna just uh, tape it up and just do something with it, just so nobody wants to reconnect into it in the future i'm um, just ripping out the existing lights in here as you can see it's a horrible uh, asbestos roof so uh, i won't be going anywhere near that um yeah i don't want to disturb that it's just going to be mainly working on the walls putting a new consumer unit on that side there we're going to run the cable from the house um along this sort of dwarf wall here below the fence um through there behind the kitchen units um underneath the plimps and stuff and then through the wall um, and we will try and secure it as much as we can um, without having to take any of the kitchen out. So, yeah, that is the job. Obviously, this is going to get converted at some point. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back to the walls, um, putting normal uh, metal clad back boxes on as if you were you know, going to be dry lining it. Because that's what they're going to do at some point. That garage door is going to come out um, and be blocked up. So for the time being, we're just going to drop our sockets down in that area um i won't liven any of it up until we're ready to so yeah that is it so like i said i'm just ripping it out at the moment once i've ripped it all out um we'll start running a new cable and we'll go from there yeah i gotta catch up to speed she already know me Wanna drink us some sex on the beach Ooh, And we can keep this party going to the evening Ooh, And she's just one of a kind And she playing with my mind Let's do it one more time And make things right tonight Cause you a maniac, maniac on the floor She's a maniac And I know that you wanna do it so much more She's a maniac Oh yeah, she's a maniac, maniac on the floor Absolutely perfect, just where I wanted it. I run the cable along the underside of this all the way around the uh, rain mortar and then into the house just above the damper of course. This is the uh, consume unit we're putting in today in the uh, garage. The F200 4M sockets and light switches there. Um, I'm going to mount this one up now. Uh, the cable that you can see underneath my tool bag there uh, should have been 20 meters. But for some reason they've only cut off 10 um so that's no good we're getting that dropped out now um drilled the holes in the house end and in the garage end so we're going to get this board mounted up for now um and we can obviously start running in these circuits in here and move some of this stuff around um and then i can sort of run the uh mains cable after so we've got a couple of four foot um ksr led battens to go up um and then, you know, just basic white sockets and switches to go inside. Yeah. Right, so we're going to clip all the cables around the um, rafters uh, in the garage 
Now, usually um, in a garage, I would use sort of hammer and clip them manually, but um, this garage is going to get boarded. So I am going to go with the uh, old stapler. Uh, I'll show you that a second. Let me flip this round. So I've got a stapler, plenty of staples. I don't know how much juice he's got in him, if I'm honest. Nothing. So let's slap. I think this takes two runs of staples. Let's put two runs in there. One size, so you can't actually change it. It is what it is. Oh, right, you come. Looks like he's got some juice in him. Yep. Okay. So they're going to get clipped around here, around this timber. Like I said, I wouldn't usually use this um, if they're on show, but this is all going to get boarded. So I'm happy to use it. Kind of oval capping down to the sockets. Um, the cables run down the wall in those, and then they're just going to be clipped up here at high level um, around. And then I'm probably going to have to do something to fasten them along there because we haven't got a timber. So I'll get to that point when I get to it. Right, I've just um, fixed back one of the light switches. Um, I put some all-round band on. I'm going to get some oval capping to run these down in. Um, clip the cables up. Still got to fix it along there. Um, I've just kept the tension at the moment. I've clipped it along here, and then I've taken it through into this light. I have connected this light in just so it's one less task. Um, cable comes all the way around here, clipped. Who's in the staple gun? Um, we do need to take it up that way. I think for the time being, I'm going to take it over the top of the joists um, and then somehow get a fixing on it because I'm not too sure what he's doing with, obviously this roof is coming off and he is going to replace it. So I don't want to obviously get anywhere near the roof. Um, I also don't really want to come below these because, well, just wiring regulations really. So I'm going to put it up above so it effectively is run in the roof space so and just get a fixing on it for now when they replace the roof i'm pretty sure there's going to be some more timber in and i'm going to come back and fix the cables back hopefully a little bit better just put that socket down there in that corner as well sorry the light switch got to run this cable into it and then i got to take a switch wire out of that one for a light on the back of this beam here It's actually nice to have a little bit of sun in the sky for once. Where is it? Oh, goodness. What a treat. And then back into the dinge. First fix is pretty much done. Got a light switch here that does that like there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six internal sockets, and then an external socket, but I've got that one there on its own circuit. That's that one there. Yeah, so that's not a bad day's work. Like I said, tomorrow we'll finish it off. Um, and then we'll sign it off. Jobs are good one.
Right, so this morning, um, the first thing I'm gonna do is make off this SWA into the new uh, consumer unit above me here. Um, gonna just hold it up, get a rough idea where it is, then I'm gonna start stripping it, um, and then we'll connect it in. Uh, we're gonna do all the second fix connections this end, and then what we'll do is, once we're done in here, we'll go in there, and we'll connect up at the board, give it a test in here, make sure everything's okay, and then we'll liven it up. So let's get on and um, strip this armoured. Right, so that's the armoured made off. Um, obviously we've still got to strip the internal cores and then identify them with some tape. Just gonna chuck the banjo on. Um, obviously we're coming up here in this 20 mil knockout. Gonna do that, gonna stick the banjo sort of screw in between in the middle there, just in case that one does want to be used at some point. Realistically, it should be in a good area for them to still be able to put one if they want to put a central. Might get a link into the existing one, but um, probably not. Yeah, gonna get that in there now. <clears throat> and then obviously we've got a second fix this. Um, and like I said yesterday, we still got something to do with the cables and stuff like that. So let's get this in first. Um, and then at least we can get the cover on the board once this is done. And that's one job done. Right, so we've got the <clears throat> armored cable made off and into the board. I'm quite happy, quite pleased with how that went, if I'm honest. Just connected the uh, banjo in, just put the nut and bolt on there. Um, we're gonna make these off. Um, we're gonna identify them with tape. Um, so we're gonna be using the black for the earth, brown for the live, of course, and then the neutral for, sorry, the gray for the neutral. Um, and then we're gonna make these off. I've got two radial circuits, one for the internal sockets, one for the external sockets, um, and then one lighting circuit. Put them on 16 amp breakers and the lighting circuit's going on a six and then we've got one spare left. So I'm um, gonna get on with that now. Uh, first, like I said, I'm gonna do is the uh, the power in. So I'm gonna do the armored first. So let's cut these uh, to length. Can leave a little bit slack on them because uh, well, I can't imagine they're going to need to move this board, but you never know. So I'm going to leave as much as possible. It's actually surprising the amount of um, consumer units I open that not necessarily have this as, as a maintenance. Um, but, you know, you know, taking an SWA <clears throat> out to a circuit and it's uh, got absolutely no... Conductor identification on it at all. I mean, as electricians, usually black is the earth, gray is the neutral, and obviously brown is the life. But I have come across where people have used it the other way around. They've always used brown as the life, but they've used uh, the two other conductors the other way around. So they've used the gray as the 
as the um, earth and taped it up sometimes and then use the black as the neutral and then not taped it up mainly because obviously black is the old neutral color so there is that and then obviously sometimes you just go in there and none of it's done at all but i think it's because people are so reliant on other electricians knowing the colors that they'll allow it but i'm not a big fan of that all right let's get him in place or her or them There we go, that's our first circuit done. Got the tails in, first circuit. I'll get on with these two, but I won't bore you sort of doing the whole board. Um, then, like I said, get the cover on that, start the second fixing in here, and then I'll move on to inside and obviously the, the last few bits. There we are, job done. Um, board is all wired up, so let's just pop the cover on. I've gone with the uh, pictures on this one just because it then suits all the things I've got so outdoor sockets indoor sockets and lights just fix this back um, as you can see I got my little hook in there which is just two magnet hooks um, that I use for this sort of stuff all the time just helps hold the cover up cool little idea I guess um, I'm not going to stick a painting on it but um, yeah cool little idea it's just two old magnets I had in the van forever I used to hang sort of carrier bags off it with uh, conduit bits in there but uh, now I use it for that um, so yeah I'll fix this one back and then that's us uh, down on the board Right, so got our RCBO in, uh, cable coming in underneath, uh, up into the bottom of the board, got the banjo on, fits in quite nicely um, behind there. Not a board I use all the time because I'm not keen on the square knockouts, but yeah, let's get the cover back on. This one's done. Right, so we're just going to test uh, the sockets. This is the first in the series. We're going to do this one first. We get a ZS on this one. Done the ZE at the board. Um, done all the tests at the board in fact we're just going around now doing the sockets and we've also got to do the lights lovely I'll see I'm going to go straight to the last one which is this one here Three. Okay. And that's a wrap. All done. See you on the next one.